Hey guys, in this video we have an interesting series of tips on locating and preparing for your new aquarium. So if you got your new tank, you're getting ready to set it up, there's a couple of things that you want to go through to make sure that you get off onto the right start. So when it comes to locating your aquarium, you definitely want to avoid having your aquarium in the path of natural light. That is going to take lighting out of your control, not a good thing. You want to prevent algae, definitely no direct light hitting your aquarium. Diffused light off the side is fine, not direct light exposure. Another thing you want to make sure of when you're locating your aquarium is not to have it in proximity to a door. So the sudden swinging open of a door can actually startle fish, cause them to perhaps panic in the aquarium. You want to avoid that. So make sure there's a good distance between any doors and the location of your aquarium. You also want to take temperature influence out of the situation as well. So you want to locate your tank not net in proximity to a heating or a ventilation duct where cool air is coming out or a radiator. Keep your aquarium from any heat away from any heat or cooling sources as well. Now another thing that you want to think about is having your tank location next to an electrical outlet. That's important because you want to kind of avoid any long unwieldy extension cords and so forth. It doesn't look very nice and it's not very practical. So you can usually find an electrical outlet where it's suitable for a tank location. That's definitely a factor in selecting a place for your tank. Now you also want to make sure that you locate your aquarium within easy viewing distance of where you plan to sit and enjoy it from. You don't want to be rubbernecking to see your aquarium. You want to have it directly in your field of vision and close enough so you can really enjoy your tank. And at the same time, you want to avoid areas where you, there will be a lot of foot traffic, a hallway or another location, a foyer maybe sometimes, where a lot of people are going in and out of a home. Uh, not a good place, you know, fish can become startled, so you want to make sure that it's an area that's a little bit more tranquil for your aquarium setup. Now that we've covered locating your aquarium, let's get into some tips for preparing your aquarium. Now for that purpose we have a Flex 15 over here, which is an aquarium that doesn't have a frame on the bottom. So when it's a glass bottom tank, Fluval in this case for example provides what we call a Flex foam pad. It's supplied with the kit. And this will ensure that the glass bottom of the tank has a proper substance or material to sit on, making for a safe installation. Now, the cabinet itself is uh, obviously an important point you want to be aware of. It should be preferably in a, a cabinet or a stand made for an aquarium. You can see that it's securely screwed together, that the material is good and solid and durable, and that the actual construction of the stand can withstand the weight of an aquarium. That's very important. Now, the actual surface of the tank is, or cabinet, sorry, is something that you've got to consider too. It must be totally flat, no irregularities in it to provide the bottom with a nice level place to sit. Now when it comes to level, you want to make sure that the cabinet is level to the floor. So for that reason, you're going to need a level and you're going to verify if you have to make an adjustments. And if you do, well then shims are the ideal solution. So we have one here, you can level, for example, the cabinet to the floor with some shims. You can use things like cedar shingles. Those are available at a do-it-yourself center or a typical uh, hardware type store. You can find those and they're great for doing that. Now when it comes to bigger aquariums, weight becomes obviously much more of a factor. So for aquariums of 125 US gallons or 500 liters or more, you know, given that water and decor can easily exceed eight to 10 pounds a, a gallon, you wanna make sure that the structure and the flooring can support that kind of weight. So you wanna double check that. Now, if you've got any other questions on aquatic subjects, please hit us up at pluvalaquatics.com. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks a lot for watching.